Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my RPG Maker VSA's scripting video tutorials and in this episode I'm going to continue with my um, per ABS um, scripting tutorials and this in this episode I'm going to be covering um, some advanced stuff heavily um, scripting stuff so um, yeah um, this is actually my third try of doing this the first time I was doing it and I 100% finished it and then when I looked back it turned out that my video cut off after 10 minutes of doing it um the second one i just messed up and i just started over um okay so first thing is this video is going to be a long video so if you're going to complain if that is a long video then i'm sorry um if you really want to learn how to do this then you would watch the video and if you don't then you don't have to um Oh yeah, um, it's also going to be long because I can't stop the video and start because it takes a long time to like do stuff. It takes me a long time to get started on recording and it takes me a long time to stop the recording and the finish it and everything. So if I just do one long video, then I could just render it in the background and then just watch TV or something like that. Instead of having to render, then go back, render, then go back. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm going to record it straight through. So it's going to be a long video. So what are we doing in this video? We're basically going to be, well, I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit the skill bar. So what do I mean by edit the skill bar? Well, I'm going to show you with my game. So if you look at the bottom of the screen, you will see that, um, I only have access to my whip and my shield and my first item slot and my first skill slot and if I go ahead and open up this and let's say I want to let's say I want to select the skill as you can see I can only put stuff on the first skill one the default version there is four stuff that you need to do and I mean first slot four slots that you need to put stuff in and for the items there's two slots but I've changed that to make it only one slot and oh slot that's funny um, only one slot so um yeah so right now I'm actually gonna go ahead and exit this well not exit minimize it and we're going to open our RPG not RP we're gonna open up the f um, per ABS game the script right now is on touch on touched and everything so the first step is I've already done this before so I'm just gonna go ahead and back up back up back up back up okay the first step is to open up the scale bar in the um, picture editor so basically it's located in um, graphics then pictures and then it's right there per scale bar so open it up in the um, picture at ed photo editor or anything like that um, I don't have Photoshop or anything fancy on this computer cuz it's this computer so basically all you have to do is decide the stuff you want to remove so for this tutorial I'm going to be removing one skill slot I mean I'm going to be removing one item slot and two skill slots so that's going to be three things in total so what you want to do right now is just delete the three stuff that you want to do start from the right do not start from the left start from the right and delete if you want to remove four if you want to remove all the skills stuff just um all just remember start from the right and not the left so since i'm removing three things i'm just going to go ahead and delete that and what i'm going to do now is save this so as you can see it is now saved Remember, do not change this image in any way possible. And what I mean is do not edit the dimensions to be like that or anything. It must be full dimension. Because if you do change the image like this, like I did in my game, it would be a whole lot it would be a whole lot harder to set it up because you have to um move the text around and stuff like that. But as if you do it like this, then you really don't have to do those stuff. So save this and now we are ready to start doing stuff. So I'm actually gonna jump into the game real quick set up my character and to show you as you can see by the bottom the um, boxes are not there so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and go through that and pick up my items and I'm gonna go ahead and save this and everything is now great so now we're gonna start with um, editing the um, scripts so go to the scripting script editor and go all the way down the first place you need to do stuff in will be in the battler settings so what you want to do is remove the stuff that you don't want in your game and those stuff being since i'm removing the last two skills will be skill three and skill four and i'm removing item slot number two so i'm just gonna go ahead and remove item slot number two and just 
bring it down. If I play this now, I should get an error and um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, every thing I remove, I'm gonna play it just to show you guys what will happen. Cause last time, the first time I did it, I was skipping a whole bunch of steps and um, and I couldn't show you guys um, what to, um, what's wrong and what's not wrong. So um, it's actually good to play test it once you remove that cause it's just gonna automatically bring you to the next step. So the next step being go to per skill bar and then jump all the way down to line 96. So in nine, we actually have to do stuff in nine. I keep saying, see, this is the first, the, the first time I did this, I also had this problem line six. I keep on saying nine, nine, I mean nine, six. So jump down to line 96. And what you want to do is again, remove the stuff that you don't want. So since I'm I always like to start from the bottom and then work my way up so so since we're removing skill 4 and skill 3 so all we have to do is remove skill 4 skill 3 and done that's it and then we're also removing item 2 so all we have to do here is remove actually we need that oh no we don't just remove item 2 so right now we have item one and skill one and two. So let's go ahead and play test it. Again, you don't have to play test it. I'm only doing this to show you guys what will happen. So as you can see, now we no longer get the text that's all the way out there. So right now, let me go ahead and actually, actually no, that's the, go ahead and actually equip stuff. Ooh, okay. So well, that's what happens when you equip stuff um when you do that so i'm actually gonna go back to it and show you some more stuff okay um i'm not gonna equip anything because you will get an error but just know um that it, you will get an error so now i'm gonna skip a step but it's not really skipping a step but basically all we have to do is just remove this and remove this and this so um I'm gonna skip this for now because I want to show you what happens when you don't actually hmm, let me think real quick actually no I'm not skipping so basically um, when you test it and try to equip something it will give you an error which will again bring you to the next step of stuff that you need to do and that's basically right here so again you need to go after you change the stuff in the per scale bar you need to jump down to that's also one more thing we have to change in the per scale bar but i'm going to do that later because i want to show you that's the thing that i said i'm going to skip so yeah jump down to per scenes and what you need to do is remove item slot two which is right here remove it and since we need to remove the skill slot three and four again just remove it like that and you are in business so if we test this again we should not get that error that we got the first time i hope i continued so if we go to items as you can see the reason why we got the error was because um before it will show us the um option to pick slot w but that's no slot w on the skill bar so it crashed the system because it's looking for something that's not there so basically since we removed it now we can go ahead and equip this and then go to our skills equip this and equip this and this is exactly why i needed to um to not do the last step that i said that i'm going to skip so if you skip that step you will still get um something manageable but only the problem is as you can see it's still keeping the placeholder for skill w and the other skills that were missing i mean item w and actually item slot two so as you can see it says one but that's actually item slot w so that's the placeholder and it's keeping the place of it and then it's also keeping the place of the two other skills that were missing leaving the k button all the way to the right by itself so to fix that all you have to do is go to skills i mean not skill scripts then go to skill bar so this is line 96 we have to go all the way down to something refresh but not that refresh oh actually yeah it is this one so go down to line 121 refresh two bar icons again you're gonna do the same thing so these are the placeholders keeping the places of it so what you want to do is remove skill four and skill three so i'm just gonna go ahead and remove all of this bring it back 
So I'm going to show you what happens when I actually just remove the stuff. So, I should, you, you will see that the K now is closer than it was before. Before it was all the way to the right by itself. Now you can see it's by the boxes. So the reason why it's still not in the K box is because we still need to get rid of the placeholder of item slot 2. So to do that again all you have to do is 121 remove item slot 2 which is right here. This is item slot 1 and this is item slot 2. So all we have to do is go ahead and remove that. And when we play test this we should everything should be good. Should be good. So continue. And as you can see now K is in the right place as it should be. So now we have our so if we equipped everything again now, um equip the bomb. The bomb can't go into any other slot. So equip this and equip this. Ooh. Equip this to slot two. As you can see, everything is good. And if you have the weapons and the skill um shield, then it will go in the right slots. And as you can see we are basically done or are we if i pressed m right now i would get an error and what that does is because in the party system that's like okay this step is if you're using um party members in your game so if you have multiple actors in your party then you need to do this step but as for me in my other game i did not have to do it because it was one of those games that that's only one person in the party and I don't actually use the party member system so basically that will bring you down to your next step which is again in the per scene so basically all you have to do is just remove this line again this is only if you're using um, party members in your game so you're gonna want to remove this line um, there's some other errors that appear but it's not over here so I'm gonna go ahead and just um, you could also remove these if you want to, but I'm pretty sure you don't have to because I didn't do it the last time and I didn't get any errors or anything like that. And then you need to jump down over here and you want to remove. So you need to jump down to line 381. Well, not 381, 382. And then you want to go ahead and remove this. And then you also want to go ahead and remove skill 4 and 3. And if I played this and pressed M, I should not get an error. Hopefully. Right now, I skipped too many steps to actually know if I'm going to get those arrows or not. Mm, I did get those arrows. So, I'm just going to go ahead and remove these two. Before, I thought you didn't have to, but it turns out that you actually have to. So, go ahead and save that. And if I press M, as you can see, we got no arrows and we are basically finished. So, again, if you want to remove more stuff, you remove it. I actually don't know how to add stuff, but in theory, you could add add stuff to it but I haven't actually tried that out yet so I actually don't even know what will happen let me just go ahead and save this add more party members to my thing and show you what happened that's actually it for the tutorial and as you can see everything is functioning when you press E um, the only one thing I was not able to figure out is how to make the bo this box smaller. See, as you can see, it still has a place for the other slot, but I want it to only have the um to be smaller to only fit slot Q. And then if I go to skill X, we still have the slots for all four of them, and instead of only two. So that's one thing I haven't figured out how to do yet, um, because I didn't actually care. So I just once I got what I wanted, I didn't care for the um smaller details, and I just skipped it. So if you guys find out how to do that, please let me know down below. So again, if I equip this and then I go, then I go to my items and equip this in slot Q. And as you can see, we are basically done with that. And we have our um we have our skill bar the way we want. So yeah. Um thank you guys again for watching. Um 40 minutes oh it's not actually that long i thought it was gonna go into like 30 minutes the first time i did it i think it went over to like 25 minutes plus but since i got more experience in doing it um i, be, um, I did it faster than before so yeah um i think the next tutorial i'm going to make is how to basically make your thing look like mine like not like mine like mine but like make your life bars look 
the way you want with um, different images and stuff like that and how to change the position like I have here but yeah as you can see still working on my game I have instantized my city maps so right now this is actually a different map from the main world as you can see I can't like go um, stuff like that but I've made it so you can transition through it like see look at that you can't even tell the difference see right now I'm in the city and I can't leave the city and right now I'm outside the city and I can't leave the city yeah well thank you guys again for watching um this game is still being worked on of course I'm at least five years away from finishing this game um so yeah that's basically how you edit your life or not your life bars your skill bars um, again, I don't know how to add stuff, but in theory, you should be able to add stuff, but I haven't, it's not something that I require right now, so that's why I haven't figured out how to do it yet. But again, thank you guys again for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to be, I mean, actually, make sure to hit the subscribe button to be updated every time I release a new video. Um, for everything RPG Maker VS Ace, tune into my channel. Everything script and tutorials, tune into my channel. Make sure to like this video, make sure to favorite this video, make sure to share this video and make sure to comment because i want to hear what you guys are thinking the next tutorial i'm going to the next official tutorial i'm going to make is the victor i forgot what it is but i think it's a side view battle system thinking i forgot the name of it but that's the next official tutorial this tutorial i'm only making on this computer because i'm i'm pretty sure it's not gonna like um tax my computer and i don't have to do a lot of stuff but yeah, I'm still not I'm still not gonna be making tutorials or videos with this computer right now except for my let's plays because it's just too much of a hassle to just do stuff on this computer. Um for some reason because I reset restarted the computer, it was going amazingly faster than usual. And that's also thanks to this thingy that I'm using right now, my new um recorder. Um because it doesn't take a lot from my system. So yeah, again, thank you guys again for watching. Um, I will try to make more videos starting next week when I get my laptop back, hopefully. So, again, peace. Well, thank you again. Bye.